Uh, I do think, though, that we do uh, need to expect more from the UN Environmental Assembly. This is the sixth session, and I think it was intended to be, you know, an authoritative voice or the authoritative voice on the environment uh, within the uh, United Nations. And I think we should start expecting more from it. I, I do think we need something like a biannual state of the planet report, which lets us know exactly where we are, what's going well, what's no, not going well, what we need to do. And this should inform the international community. How are we going to actually go beyond a conversation and sort of a recognition that we have an issue to really, if you like, holding the feet to the fire, to really say, how are we going to actually achieve the, the change on the ground that uh, is ultimately what you need to see? And I think with the UN Environmental Assembly, uh, the ambition for it was very high when it was created. And I was involved with the negotiations around its, its establishment. We had high expectations. It was to be the global authority together with the UN Environment Programme that is setting the agenda and letting us know where we're going. Um, I think what we really need to do is firstly have a definitive document through the Environmental Assembly that sets out the state of the planet let us know what is not just the state of climate or biodiversity or desertification. What is the state of the planet? Where are we? Where have we got to? Where are the gaps? And use that to inform the Global Environment Facility, UN Development Program, national governments. We don't have that. They, we don't have this definitive document. The other thing is with multilateral environmental agreements, they all have their own processes. Some have quite a well-developed compliance process like CITES. Others don't. But what we need to do, the Environmental Assembly can look at all of the multilateral environmental agreements in, in their totality and say, are we achieving what countries said they wanted to achieve through these agreements? And if not, why not? And review it and be a little bit more direct about, you know, where we're making progress and where not, and then galvanise um, some further multilateral and, and national effort around that.